What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Little Roy. And I know my background is a little messy, but y'all have no clue. I have clothes hanging up all behind the camera. I just did laundry. And if you take away these shorts, there's just sneakers in my book bag. So don't don't try to come at me. Don't kind of come at me. Anyways, the braids is finally gone again. But um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been a little uninspired to film videos because I've been planning my vacation and yeah it's a whole bunch of stuff going on but don't worry i'm still gonna film for you guys but you can see a little sneak peek of what i'm showing here but not too much just show the back you see the title uh welcome if you're new here if you're not new but if you are new hit the subscribe button join the squad um yeah as soon as we hit 1k subs i always say we're gonna do a free giveaway once we hit 1k subs we've been growing faster we're about to soon hit 200 so share this video like this video comment for all the new people if you comment anything i respond to all my comments check the comments of any video i respond uh yeah so let's get right into it you see the title i thought this was a pretty nice video to do so and i like the shoe and i'll get into what happened later on today but um yeah let's get right into it <sighs> I don't even know if I said your boy Lil Roy, Lil Roy TV. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so long story short, let's get this out the way. I got a GS size, but I gotta wait till it comes on the Nike. Cause I hit this morning on the Nike app. I'll post the Gotham picture right here. Boom. And yeah, today, a boutique in my area. I can't disclose them. Not burning the loop. They did first come, first serve. And... It comes in the regular, I don't even know if it's regular, but a regular black Nike box. Whatever. This size is a 10. I have a 9.5, two 9.5s, one 10. I got to try to pick up a 12 tomorrow because I sold two pairs of tw two size 12s, but I only have one 12. But I made a mistake and oversold two 12s. So I got to go find another 12 tomorrow. Hopefully I do. Um... But uh, I, I had a 12 earlier, and I already dropped it off. So in total, you think about 12, 12 if I pick it up tomorrow. I got a GS size that's 3, 4, 5, 6. So six pairs in total I hit. Let's take out the other one because it's important. Regular Nike Air Force paper for collabs. Nothing too crazy. There's no tag for these. Let's smell it. <sighs> okay, so first of all, let's get the thumbnail. With Bugs Bunny and Lola. Alright, I should have a thumbnail. But um, the details on here is insane. Now, let me just tell the story before I get into the sneaker. The reason why I have two nine and a halfs is because... One sold, I believe. And... Oh, what happened was, okay. So I have two nine and a halfs because this is what happened. These sneakers I wasn't sitting on to find any local clientele, right? So while I talk real quick, long story short, I'm going to get to it. Don't worry, it's not a long story. You can look at the shoe and I'll explain the shoe. I had a nine and a half because my intentions was to get these and keep it for personal. Because baby blue, all this, obviously I love. So I was going to keep it. So I got me a nine and a half for personal. But then I got them in hand and I said, okay, these are nice. But the resale in me is like, when am I really going to wear this? I barely wear my regular Air Force ones now. And I only wear it for certain occasions. Like, just whatever. I don't even wear my Air Forces now. <sighs> the second time yawning in this video, I had a long day running around getting these pairs. So then I last minute decided, you know what? I don't want the shoe anymore. I'd rather get the profit. So I sold the 9.5. But the thing is, I had it listed both on GOAT and StockX. So they both end up selling. So I don't want to lose points on GOAT. So I was like, all right, I'm going to ship them. One nine and a half I got on StockX, my pair that I had for myself. And then I'm going to just go buy another nine and a half. So I did go buy another nine and a half. So that's good. Um, so that's the reason why I got two nine and a half. So yes, I did want this for personal, but I changed my mind. I said, I'm not going to wear these. I'm not going to get a fit for these, even though they're cute. And I do love the details in this. And like I said, if a shoe or anything, not even a shoe, anything, clothing, anything wise, to get me to have any chance of buying your product, if the color is red, purple, or baby blue, 
or UNC blue, whatever you want to call it, I will I will really consider. Like I said, I consider this, right? They got an extra sale for me, but of course it came and benefited because I actually made profit from my two nine and a halves. But I didn't want them, now I got it in hand. So yeah, thankfully I could sell it. But now let's get into the details. One, let's just show the outside. You see it's just a typical blue. Like I said, I don't know if I'm filming the video in the dark, but the light as bright as I get, the bright, this is how bright it's going to get because I'm not doing this during the day. It's clearly nighttime. I'm posting this video late and I'm filming this video late. But um, that's the outside. I just want to show you that real quick. The bottom is the blue. And then, of course, you see in the back, Nike, white, and then the blue. Now, I just realized the tongue. So one tongue has Lola on there, Lola Bunny, and then you got Bugs Bunny. Now, this is the best part about the shoe is them putting the, the stitching of both of them, right? Lola and Bugs Bunny. Now, Lola got the Space Jam jersey. I guess the girl version because I see more of the orange colorful part of it. And then I see Bugs Bunny with more of the blue. But look at the details on that. Look at that. I don't know how good the camera's catching it. But look at that detail. Bugs Bunny with the ball in the Space Jam jersey. Of course, you got the air on the bottom. And then you got Lola. I hope her name is Lola because I wasn't a big fan of, of Space Jam or Bugs Bunny and all of them. So I hope her name is Lola Bunny, whatever. But look at the details. Having Lola and then having Bugs, that's so cute and like fire to me. I think having this in GS sizes will go crazy because like it's a kid's movie, it's a kid's shoe. But they're doing pretty good even in this size. I guess people online, of course, they have the perspective like me. That's what I'm thankful I hit in the store because ordering this online, if I would have hit my size this morning, obviously I did go for it. I would have probably had to return them because I think prices and bigger would go down because like how many grown people are really going to want this shoe? Unless they love Bugs Bunny and Lola, but I don't know. I feel like it's more kiddish, so I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Did you go for these? Do you think this is probably one of the best Space Jam sneaker collabs? Because you can see they dropped Converse's. They dropped the whole Crocs. They're dropping a whole bunch of stuff for the Space Jam movie. So you guys let me know. Is this probably the best collab they have? The white on air, white on white baby blue Air Forces? Because they also dropped the black, and which obviously we know we stay away from black uppies. But regardless, let me know in the comments. Do you think this is cute? Do you think this is the best Space Jam collab sneaker they dropped through this whole entire collection? Um, Yeah, I think so. But let me know in the comments. Did you try to go for these as well? Did you take an L? Did you catch a W? Let me know in the comments. I just wanted to put the content out for you guys. I was like, wait, why would I not film a new sneaker pickup? Obviously, it's a sneaker that people went for this morning, so I might as well show you guys. But um, that's it. I will be filming a video tomorrow on the Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange. I did hit pairs already, so I'm going to pick those up. If you're watching at this point, yeah, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, if you're new here, hit make sure you hit the subscribe button. As soon as you hit 1K subs, we're doing a free giveaway. And um, comment whatever you want because I respond to all my comments. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. I know this video is too long. And I know I've been um, slacking. But you guys see. I'll be filming mad content for you guys. So if you're new here. Go check out all my other videos. And if you rock with me in every video. Shout out to you. Thank you. You guys know. I don't like to put out BS stuff. But I try to film as best as I can. With the great content that I want to provide you guys. I don't want to just film anything. But um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the shoe. Your boy is out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video.